taken for a single coin. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We, in the last episode, we just completed Namira's quest. How are you today? This one. I mean, you remember whose house? Oh, that's not it. Wrong one. You know whose house this is. I wonder. <coughs> Where the orchid? Where's Where's uh Grom? Actually, before we go do this quest, I want to look for someone. Where is he? Morning. What? Anvil is all in an uproar. First, the chapel attacked. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. It can't be. Yes. Take care. I almost about just to break a law by accident. Oh, here it is. Don't worry about that guy. We'll deal with his mistress's quest later. <coughs> so where we're going... Oh, wait, let, let me see if someone... Uh, I'm only asking for enough to feed me, kids. Look, he so look how he sounds. Thank you, kind sir. And there we go. I understand the Fighters Guild. Yeah. He's a fairy tale. See you later. The Imperial Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Grey Fox who controls all the thieves in Cyrodiil. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. Uh, again, it's blessings of Juliana upon ye. Lit up. Mm. Darn. I was hoping to get the quest. I guess not. Yeah, we're at forty-five full like fame entirely. Ah! All right, let's just do it. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dralis, will be allowed access. I'm listening. <coughs> All right. You can't scare me. What a one... Really? You should be ashamed. Is that... Goodness... What a... You're revolting. Not as bad as you. No. You... Well done. Not far. You're wasting your breath. Let me see. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are. So as I'm not sure I that said, I can trust you. As I said in the previous episode... We would need a certain spell. And see, look, it's still lit up. Okay, let's see around. Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Vlindrum? <sighs> they say he haunts the road to Corbin. Not that I've ever seen him myself, mind you. Again, apparently, you believe it. So, let's you... Yeah, I got this spell. Yeah, let, let's just show what uh, spells we just gained. Okay, so you remember when we grab? I said we grabbed the Atronox stone, or or did I don't think we did. Good day. Okay, but we need to uh, forget what I was just saying. But let's use the spell we have and talk to him again. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynal Dralus, will be allowed access. All right, he has now. Certainly. Really? Well, let's see. Let me see. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. <coughs> Word is bound to get around Broom there anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Raniel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. Okay. In the last week or so, 
we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. Interesting. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Mm. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked okay. the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. <coughs> Luckily, Brayden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. Right. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Brayden out in the daylight. Two reasons. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. So, you can see we really don't need any help. But thanks for the offer. All right, Brandon Lyrian. As far as I know, he was a good Bra man. Brandon I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. Raynell Draylor. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Right. We're going to have to see this Raynell Draylor herself. Or we are technically... A slayer, so we are pars We are technically working the profession of vampire hunting, so eh, why not? Feel free to question anyone in Perhaps town. Perhaps you can help me. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. Repeating, repeated tampering with it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, you can uh, accidentally tamper with it. Okay, wait before we uh now. Um, Let's just look at the, uh, the crime scene, uh, huh. I wish I can, um, let me see, let me see, options, my god, there's something I'm actually looking for then. Uh, even the one thing I was hoping I could deal with, no, alright. To be honest, I was hoping I could probably get rid of the middle. Murdered beggar, huh. Alright, so let's just... Thief of virtue. So I guess this is to involve something with a thief's guild. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So if you don't have the spell, uh, you, you can tell your... So they they do sometimes they do give you like a little hint of like like if they have a book of thief of virtue and neither one of those two are thieves it's telling you that you can come down here to steal this alluring gaze if you don't have the spell to use on that guy or someone else I'm sorry but I have to. You can Excuse help me. me. I don't know Perhaps what else to tell me. me. All right. Uh, we can't believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Just, just calm down, please. Calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I am a slayer. I loved my husband dearly, and to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Just, just calm down, ma'am. Please, tell me what happened. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my brain dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Draylus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Brayden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainil, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guard sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainil convinced Carius that Brayden was a vampire. 
The evidence looks bad. No, it doesn't. It does not. They give they give no evidence whatsoever. The evidence looks bad for Brayden. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's exactly. ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Brayden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Exactly. Why does that make him a vampire? Exactly. See? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. I guarantee you Of have. course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Doesn't have to be Please, here. Please, help me clear my husband's name. The name of any hunter, adventurer, or anything that involves this, I will. Raniel Draylor. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. She's not lying. I know I sound... So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you wanting to help Berlin by checking up on Raynal. We have it on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Raynal is what he says he is. So I'm not sure what you're trying to prove. Uh -huh. I am only allowing you to do this investigation, and I use that term very loosely, because Erlene is so distraught. She's not. Okay, Brayden Lear. I'm sure Erlene is very upset. She'll be safe, though. Raynal has confirmed with us that she isn't infected. Her accusations that Raynal is lying is not surprising. At this point, she's so upset that she'll say anything to deny what really happened. I suppose if I found out a loved one was something as horrid as a vampire, I'd find any excuse not to believe it either. You are just an Keep idiot. up the good work, I suppose. Hmm. Can you spare a coin? To be Hello. honest, I was at all of early. I could what talk to everyone, need? and they'll most likely all say... Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. <sighs> Apparently, Brayden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Raniel slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Brayden to be a vampire. Exactly. He seemed to be such a likable fellow. Exactly. Brotherhood of the Patri- Okay, we might have to, uh... I'm a little late on some of the stuff, so uh, let's just... Alright, alright. Uh, I've entered the house of Brandon Leary and Bruma. The guard named Carius Brunellis has told me that the, this was a scene a scene of a crime. And unless I was a guard or Ray Neil Drellis, I should leave. I spoke to him, the investigator of the city watch at the crime scene. He said Ray Neil slipped into the house undetected and killed the vampire, air quotes, in its sleep around noon. The wife wasn't home and she works during the day. Also, the body of an unidentified beggar had been found stashed in Braden's house. I should question Braden's wife if I want to investigate further. Uh, okay, we've got two more points, okay. Braden's wife, Erlene, told me her husband is innocent. She says that he simply works at night, which is quite which is quite common, and sleeps during the day. She also suspects that someone must have planted the body. She say the body. She seemed to cast a suspicious light on Reno, whom she says she recognizes. I think I should locate Reno and ask him some questions as well. I should start with some merchants and innkeepers at the town. I was covered that Brayden. Yeah, no, okay, no. That, that, that's something you... Take care. That, that's how you start the quest. Alright, well, let, let's go on Mercy. Hello! You hear about Jorunder? He was caught we'll stealing that gold and now he's in jail. <laughs> I bet our Nora's beside herself with grief. <sighs> the Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Not a bad way to make some money. We will do that later, too. the stones for it. I do have a stone. Is that so? 
Bye. Hello. What can I do for you today? All right, so we're gonna chatify our friend up. Oh, we'll see. Oh yeah, okay, that's work. Was that no more? <laughs> Good one. You're. I'm not. Yeah. Sure. That's cute. Every little bit help. All right, I get it. Good journey to you. What can I do for you today? All right, so. Brayden will run. I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. Yeah. It's hard to imagine Brayden was a vampire. Yeah. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. Exactly, right there. Unless he just got that disease very recently, yeah, I'd yeah, say they yeah. were mistaken. It takes three days. When I heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. All right, where's Rainel Drell? I usually don't give out that kind of information. I don't like For it. you, of course. Oh. Every little bit helps. Rainel's staying in the last One room door. down the hall Ugh. upstairs. Here's the key. Thank you, my friend. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Olaf, brother, I believe you. I believe you over most other people. The door opened with Rainel's room key. I've entered Rainel's room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious. All right, let's sneak. And eh, there's some shears. Hmm, it must be a sheep shear. Hmm. There's a bed. There's a seed. Oh. Gellaborn's journal. I've discovered a small journal in Rainel's room at the end. It seemed he was a part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from some alien ruins. They all agreed to stash the artifact in the cave until more research could be done about can be done about it. Each one of them took a key to the chest. It was secured in. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gelliborn. I need to find out more about Gelliborn to confirm my suspicious my suspicions about Raynell. Olaf may be able to help. Hey Dave, Firefox, Guard Tower, Ruins, a resident buried. Pair specs, alien inhabited, long ago. Counter, Brotherhood, Raiden, Treasure, Fiasco, Camp, Marine Camp, Protect, Bandits Protect. Huh. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna take it because. Of what can I do for you today? Uh, hey, bro, do you... Uh, nothing else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. All right, that's cool, that's good. Hey, uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Gelliborn? Gelliborn? That's <laughs> odd that you should mention that name. Mm -hmm. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said oh he tracked God. Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Rainil and his so-called accomplishment. Oh my God. Just look for me if you need anything else. Hey man, I may uh, rent a room soon, so uh, keep in touch. Oh my God. So, from what this is telling us, Gelliborn may, may have been a vampire, but let's go ask uh, the missus. Oh. Do you have any more questions? I'm afraid I know little more. All right, all right, all right. Gelliborn. Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that name once. He was part of the brotherhood he had created with Raynil. 
okay, okay, okay. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. right. Hmm. So, any new revelations in your hmm, investigation? Yes, uh, sir, do you know a name of Gilliborn? How do you know about that? Ah! Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Reno not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. I disagree. What do you mean, you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? Fwa! I have Gelleborn's I, journal! I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why right else would Raynal have removed this right journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. Darn it. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. Do you have any more questions? Okay, well, she has nothing to say about it. I know I sound it. desperate. Well, I thought she would say something about it, but I guess apparently standing... What can I do for you? Like two feet away, then... Olaf's then. tap and tack is a good inexpensive... Oh, I know. Like about what happened Okay. I've given Gelleborn's journal to Carius. I don't know why I call him that. He was shocked at the story contained within inside it. Oh, whoops. Did that? The innkeeper Olaf told me that Gilliborn was slain in Skingrad by none other than Raynell. As Brayden Raynell claimed Gilliborn was a vampire. As with Brayden, Raynell claimed that Gilliborn was a vampire. I think Raynell is using the vampire the cover story to get the keys to the chest where the they stashed the artifact. I think it's time to speak to Carius Runellis about Raynell. He must be stopped. I've given Gelleborn's journal to Carius. He was shocked about the story within and vowed to bring Raynell to Raynell to justice. He's gone to inform the guards. He said he'll meet Olaf in one hour. I think that's our captain right here. Something to report? Yeah, because he has an actual name. This is a captain. I've heard that Arentus Falvius at the chapel can conjure up cre- Oh, right. I actually need to go grab a couple of well. stuff. <laughs> See, not only does mysticism increase it, but so does conjuration. Praise Akatosh. Praise the Nine. The primate of Talos. I'm Arentus Falvius, primate of Talos, high priest of Bruma Chapel. With me, yeah, he's the highest. He's the highest ranking. With primates are the highest ranking of each chapel. You, I don't like you. You, you, you you'll increase the skill, but that's the complete opposite of what I want. I'm Sirak. I'm sorry, brother, but no. Farewell. We have time to waste. Go ahead. Why? I overheard a. Goodbye. Take Each it. weapon has a level, and the only one I can build summon would be the Daedric Dagger. Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. Yes. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. I actually don't know. All right, uh... If all you say is true, 
Rainil will answer for Brayden's death. With her by... Yeah. Gelaborn. Rainil will pay for both crimes. Gelaborn was likely another innocent he slain. I'll make sure Skingrad City Watch hears of this. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're gonna... F I guarantee they most likely will feel like, you know, just as bad as you do. I can't wait to get my hands on Rainil. He'll become very familiar with Bruma's dungeons, or the end of my blade if he doesn't come peacefully. Bro, I'm sorry to say, but it's gonna be an end Please of Rainil this dagger. Wait, wait, let me see. Do I have anything else? Nope, that's the end of that dagger. Okay. Well, I guess I'm. I guess I just have to stick with that. Break for the open road. No, we can try it. Oh. Cruelty's heart keeps that. Okay. Do that. We're, we're, we're go we'll get the big shield out. Okay, okay. And spin crane. I might, this might be the only ring. This might be the one ring I might be keeping. Carius has. Carius told me that Rainel seems to be leaving for Br leaving Bruma and heading west. According to the journal, the cave where the artifact is stashed is in that direction. Carius mentioned that the only cave in that direction that matches the journal's description is Boreal Stone Cave. Carius also feels that the the only the only that I only have. Feels I have only a day before Rainiel can make hit good his escape, so I must get there quickly. And what sucks? It's on the complete opposite side of where I was truly hoping. Or what? Frick my horse is. See, that's why this, that's why the first horse you get, is the most worthless. I gave it armor, which I didn't have to pay for. The, but the most it could do is at least give me a ride and wherever I need to go. I do find this to be like an interesting quest, or an interesting quest. Also a nice reward, just for the heck of it. Hey, that's my kill! <sighs> Foresters. That was my kill, bro. Jeez. Never steal a man's kill. Oh, you know, you might be the next one. I do need Imperial Gauntlets and boots, right? Where are you? Die! Oh, you don't have one. The boots looks like you do. The gauntlet. I just have to wait until. Uh, do they even have them? I don't know. Do they have them? Oh well. Ooh! So I wonder who the guy. I wonder who he gives the venison to. I have arrived at Boreal Stone Cave. We're gonna shank him. Oh wait. Huh. That would have been good to get that. Congratulations. I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. 
Leaving that journal behind was a stupid Look mistake on my part. I saw you enter Olav's tap and tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of Bruma somehow. Dude, it was so only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. You will not surrender then, dude? Certainly not. I'm surprised Carius didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. Exactly. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. Ugh. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. But you're gonna die either way, bro. You know this is your last chance. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. Take that! Oh look, he's actually had the long sword. Ah, just the perfect time. The cut and nicks from your long practice sessions with all manners of bl manner of blades has its benefits now. Has benefits. You are now a journeyman with blade weapons. Your sidestep power attack will now have a chance to disarm your opponent. Press and hold attack while moving left or right to use the power attack. I have located Rainil in Boreal Stone Cave. He refused to surrender, choosing instead to attack me. I was forced to kill him to defend myself. Now I must recover the artifact mentioned in Geliborn's in Geliborn's boundary. I always kept saying born. I don't know why. Journal for um, the chest. No, yeah, no. Wait a second. That was a typo. I didn't realize that. Ah, typo. <laughs> Alright. I've opened the waterlogged chest with all three keys and I discovered the artifact to be an amulet. It seems fairly unremarkable and I'm unsure of its function. I think I should bring it back to er Erlene Laron Laron Lorraine and see what she wants me to do with it. And look, it has a, a actual factor of three gold. So we have now, uh, we have, pr we have pretty much done what the watch could not, what the guards could never do. And that is take down fake vampire hunters. Hence why our character is a slayer. It doesn't matter what, you lie and you will get slayed. Sadly, I wish it would be a slayer of killer music. Because then I could rip some cool chords, but nah. I'll, I'll, I'll sadly not go with the other type of slayer. Alright, it's 2.01 p.m. Uh, yeah, no, let's go to Castle Bruma. Sadly, there is no reward for this. Except what we got. Afternoon. Or is there? To be honest, we still only got, we still have to go back for a reason. I don't know if we can. I don't know. Maybe he might. I was praying for your swift return. What news do you bring? Raynell Drake. I knew I'd recognize Raynell. I think when I first met Braden many, many years ago, he introduced me to him. They were part of some sort of brotherhood. They would roam Cyrodiil in search of legendary treasures and the like. I can't call this their The only reason finale. he stopped doing that is because we got married and he wanted to settle down. I'm afraid, thanks to Raynal, that time is lost. Well, I did find this though. What can you tell me about this mundane amulet? Long ago, I made a promise to Brayden. 
I promise to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. Trying to figure out However, a name for this because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Brayden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Brayden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. But... Or did the word die with Bra no. Brayden? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Brayden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. Okay. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. All right. Certainly. Here it is. Thank you. I will now speak the word. No, wait. Brother. I'm taller. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. Yeah. I'm certain no. that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Brayden would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. That's a lot of roads, Arxa. The philanthropy of Lathasi. I'm glad he's dead. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but Not I really. think you understand. Not really. That guy's fucking with a dick. Justice really. has been done. Uh, we have gotten a new amulet. They, uh, uh, let's see what the name is actually. The Philacerty. Philacerty of Lithenis. Which, for a price, is pretty much. Ninja, and it's pretty much what you can call a ninja amulet. Or the quick, the quick boy amulet. It gives you only four or five, six points, but with a greater soul gem, you'll most likely be able to make a better one. This way, like, you can technically almost stay up here <sighs> and just go a little back and then, yeah. Guards can't get you back here, really. Well, they can, but... This would be a lot harder to get through, but... But, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I throw up another video, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye